All right, this is one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Valheim. And today we're going to look at the woodworker shop. So I built the alchemy shop, you know, kind of like a little store. And I wanted to continue on this process of building out this, uh, I don't know, this base, this town, whatever you want to call it. And so the next project that I wanted to work on was this woodworker shop. Now, they really only give us, you know, the workbench and the workbench produces more than just wood items. So we're going to have to pretend a little bit. But this build is based on just kind of a concept of this is a woodworking area. And this is all you're going to build in this area is like a woodworking area. So I hope you guys enjoy the build. And with any build you're going to do, the first thing that I did was I picked a location which was relatively close to the alchemy shop. And then I had, of course, to level the ground and get it, you know, kind of situated to where I wanted it to be. The floor that I laid down is a six by four. So six lengthwise by four widthwise. And that'll give you the foundation for the floor piece for this woodworker shop. So I didn't want to do just standard walls. So I decided to use the 26 degree roof cross as my walls. And I laid down a row and then laid down another row on top of that, giving me essentially the height of uh, just a standard wall piece. I then gone around to all of where like the floor pieces connected and put a pillar that went up through the crosses to kind of give me an elevated... Um, well, I was thinking for the roof mainly, but it, it turned out to be kind of like an open shop because I didn't fill anything in on those posts. When that was done, I started putting down 45 degree angle wood pieces so that I could start placing my roof. And I decided only to go one high with the 45 degree, but then I decided to put in some 45 degree crosses to bridge the gap between the two 45 degree pieces to kind of give it like a little front design. And I added in a couple little 26 cross pieces there on the bottom too. You know, it's a woodworker's place, so you figure they're going to have a cool entrance. At least on the front of the shop and the back of the shop, they're going to have something that looks kind of neat. At least in my mind, that's what it what I wanted. When that was all done, it was time to get the roof into place. And I just went ahead and put down roof pieces. There's really no supporting structure that goes up along the way. I, I did ultimately at the end wind up putting in some support beams that went up to the top. And then also some cross beams along those little post areas. Just to kind of give it a little bit of an accent. It was looking a little bit drab without the support beams in the middle and then those cross beams on the top where the posts were at. So I thought, I thought it looked really good with that accent in there. When the main part of the building was done and it was time to put in the accent pieces and I started with lighting first and then I started with all the woodworker pieces and their upgrades and positioned them in a way that looked kind of cool. You know, I put down two leather areas because usually like you know, if you're going to do leather work, it really takes some time to dry. So I figured two of them in there would be a nice little accent. And then also I put in the tools above the woodworker's bench, some chests to be able to store some stuff. And then the wood cutting stuff on the outside stacked with some wood next to the side of it to kind of give it this, you know, working area look to it. Also with a cart there. Uh, so that, you know, you can envision somebody going off into the woods and getting wood and then stacking their wood against the backside of this shop here. The other thing that I did was on the side of the woodworker shop, I put in this little foundation area for kind of like this little faux wood cutting place. So I put down a grindstone and then was able to put some pieces underneath the grindstone uh, to then put down like some floor pieces to give it like a top, like a tabletop. And then was able to put down some additional other pieces uh, to make it look like it was like a sawmill kind of thing. Which, look, it turned out to be pretty neat. And so towards the end of the build, you know, in the front of the shop, I was thinking maybe something a little bit different. So I wanted to put down some stone foundation pieces with some stairs going up. Because this is more of an elevated area as opposed to where the, the alchemy tower is. And so I thought it would be really nice to have... I don't know, a stone foundation area where I can have some tables displaying my wares. 
and then maybe some stools and some other chairs for shopkeepers to sell their goods off. Uh, it turned out really nice. I had to mess around with some of the ground a little bit to kind of level it out so that it, it didn't look out of place, but overall the look turned out pretty well. I then wanted a stone pathway connecting the alchemy area to the woodworkers area because this is going to kind of be like, think of it as like a downtown shop area. So this is like a little mini road that's going to connect all the shops together. So this is the first step in connecting the second shop, the woodworker shop to the alchemy. So a stone little walkway going up to the woodworkers area. And then finally, I decided on uh, doing a sign for the woodworker shop because it's not really complete unless you've got a really cool sign. And so that's what I did. And I think I called it what Williams Wood or somebody's wood or Willie's Wood or something, <laughs> something like that. Uh, but that's it. That's so that's the woodworker shop. And I think it turned out pretty neat. You know, it it's a pretty cool concept to have the woodworker shop in there. We're going to do a blacksmith shop next, which is going to focus mainly on whatever it is we can possibly do to get a blacksmith shop going. There's, they know they do have the anvils and and uh, I'm trying to think of the forge and how I can do the forge. You know they have that forge piece that that forge workbench, but that's really not a forge. I'm thinking a forge like a big giant fire with some bellows on it. I, I don't know. We'll figure out how to do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this woodworker shop build. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.